My name's Philip Shepherd, and I'm a composer here with two different films. There's one called The Floor, or The Floor, The Flower, if you're American. I can't say it right, I'm sorry. And another one called Bobby Fischer Against the World. Um, the Floor is about the credit crisis in America, and that's had, obviously, repercussions all around the world. So that's been quite a poignant film to come here with. And, We've had audiences who, who look quite disturbed by the end of it, so that's been fun. And then the Bobby Fischer film is obviously about sort of chess genius and eventual madmen, which has been an incredibly poignant film to, for me to work on because the per person who I started working on the film with, we lost her this time last year. She's a fantastic editor called Karen Schmeer. So we were always going to meet up here, so I had to come back and I had to come here with this film. So it's lovely being here. Well, the, mu the music for The Floor is, is I suppose, quite cartoon-like. Uh, in fact, one of the, the techniques that we use in the film to cut between the sort of bare facts and the talking heads is to use 1940s and 15s, 50s cartoons. So I took that as a starting point, plus the sort of the idea of decadent music, so kind of cabaret maybe almost Kurt Weill style music, mixed with kind of loony tunes, or mixed with a bit of acid, I suppose, that's, which isn't really my normal style of writing, but it's sort of music with a short attention span. So it's, it's very, very restless. Uh, or it's very melancholic and being English melancholic music is easy as that's a given and then the Bobby Fischer stuff is that was a really interesting one to write because Bobby Fischer was one of those people who because his brain worked in such a way that he could if you like permute millions of equations at the same time and yet come up with something that was elegant and beautiful it's a little bit similar to a character like Glenn Gould you know the pianist who was able to perform Bach and in fact Bach himself as a composer could obviously deal with massive mathematical structures and yet write something that will break your heart and make you cry when you hear it. So when we first talked about the film, I said I'd love to actually steal a lot of bark for it, turn it inside out, reverse it, rip it to pieces and make that, if you like, the subject, the, the single subjects for the themes in the film. And as his mental condition kind of deteriorates, so the music itself fractures and becomes much less kind of cogent and it becomes dissonant and it becomes kind of disturbed. And my, my orchestration was to really limit it down, so I used nine strings, a fabulous solo pianist, um, a, an okayish cellist, that's me, uh, an electric cello, and then loads of mucked up electronics, all of which came from string sounds, so I kind of put them into Ableton and I kind of stretched them until they nearly disintegrated and then re-recorded them back in with the orchestra. And for me, it's the kind of music I'd write for the concert hall anyway. So it's really lovely writing that because I wasn't, I was, it, it wasn't as if I was having to write to a brief, I was just writing a set of concert pieces and they happened to go into the film. So a bit of a dream job really. And I, as with most of the films I've worked on here, I've never met the filmmakers until 10 minutes before the premiere.